Today, a judge with the National Labor Relations Board started hearing a case against Starbucks, where union organizers alleged they were fired using unfair labor practices. Most Buffalo's Kelly Dudzik was at the hearing, explains just what happened today. Hi there, Kelly. Hi, Kate. This was day one of this first two week stretch of witness testimony in the case here in Buffalo, and cameras were not allowed inside but I was allowed in to take notes. At issue is whether Starbucks engaged in unfair labor practices and how it treated several employees the company eventually fired, employees who are part of organizing the union. Today, after opening statements, attorneys representing Starbucks Workers United brought their first witness to the stand. Victoria Conklin worked for Starbucks for five years before being fired last year from one of the Amherst stores. I spoke with her before today's NLRB proceeding. Her part of the case focuses on how Starbucks handled firing her. Well, I was fired after being late um, just the one time, um, but it was six days after my store had voted to unionize and I led the union drive at my store. Starbucks declined my request for an on-camera interview today and instead sent me a statement saying in part, quote, we believe the allegations made by Workers United and the NLRB as part of the consolidated complaint are meritless and that actions taken in our Buffalo area stores were lawful and in alignment with long established partner policies, not in retaliation for any partner's participation in or support of concerted union activities. I was at the hearing for almost two hours and when I left the attorneys for Starbucks hadn't started the witness questioning yet. Now this proceeding is expected to take two weeks with another two week session scheduled later this year. An attorney for the union members told me it could take months for the judge to issue a decision. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.